What's up, everybody? So we are bringing you something a little bit different this time. Normally when we do these videos, we are in camp with a bunch of clients that are going through a From Field to Table experience. This time it's really just pretty much five friends getting together. Uh, you've got myself, you got Eddie who's running the camera, Chef Albert is in camp with us, and then a longtime friend of mine, Ben O'Brien, and then we have a special guest, Mike Peterson. So Mike actually won a contest that we put together with Ben for the Woodside podcast. And basically Mike won a from field to table experience, pretty much an exclusive. Like I said, it was just the five of us in camp. We're down in Texas with our friends at Guitar Ranches. I don't think we could have handpicked a better person to win this contest. One, uh, Mike was an outstanding shot. We got him out to a thousand yards with the Lupo pretty dang quick. Uh, two, both of his hogs that he killed, one shot right in the noggin. And then, man, he just picked up the butchering and the processing and did an outstanding job in the kitchen, fixed a fantastic meal uh, along with Chef Albert for the rest of us. So anyway, this is Mike's experience. I hope you guys enjoy it. We'll see you all on the next video. So welcome to the range. Hey, it's Ben O'Brien. Hey, that's great. <laughs> it's Mike, oh. the big winner. We did it. <laughs> They're here. Uh, we're just running uh, the uh, Benelli Lupos, straight up bolt action. Man, they're a lot of fun to shoot. Benelli sponsors are from Field the Table uh, events, so we use them exclusively for shotguns and for uh, the rifles. But we haven't done a thing to them, so and they're they're awesome to shoot. The uh, optics are Zeiss optics. We're we'll running them in MOA. They do have elevation dials, so I know you're familiar with it. I don't know how familiar you are with them, but it's super simple. It's good. Good right there? Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna go a little bit further and then come in when it starts getting worse. It's getting worse. Okay, and then, and then go back. Good right there. Good to there? Yeah, nice and crisp right there. That was easy, okay. All right, so don't change anything. Okay. Yeah, so we're just gonna bring you up two minutes. We're gonna call it, call it good. Get back! Get back! Felt good. Since that one was so easy, let's just go ahead and go to 400. Nice! Get back! All right, cool, man. Two for two, let's go on to five. All right. I feel this is very easy. Yes. I mean, not us just shoot, but just like actually making these movements, is, it feels good. It's just very good. quick. Yeah, you're you're dialed in tight too. I mean, with your uh, with your form and everything. So I mean, everything looks really good. Impact dead center. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, 500 yards dead center. Impact. Yeah. There it is. Oh yeah. What'd you just do, bud? Just shot my first thousand yard target. Been on the range doing a little bit of shooting, and Mike just nailed thousand yard target three times in a row, holding about two and a half minute wind. We had a little bit of a breeze going on, and uh, he's got probably about a half a MOA uh, of a group. So he did awesome. He did that with the Lupo and the Zeiss Optic. Now it's time to go kill some pigs. The main thing that we did though is we took away any possible excuse for a mess. Because if he can shoot that type of group at a thousand yards, he can hit a pig at 100 to 150. You ready to do this? You ready to go, man? Hell yeah. Let's do it. We got on this feeder here. Yeah. Eyes on me. Yeah, he's coming in. He's in the green bushes. 
got him. Dude. <laughs> Rerack. Rerack. <laughs> <laughs> That's just his nerves. You got him. Safety's on. Bro. Hold on. Oh. Hey. Dude. <laughs> yeah. Is that your first pig? First pig dead, man. <laughs> that was awesome. That's pretty great stuff. Oh, wasn't it? Dumped it. Dumped it. Man, my heart getting towards the end, man. <laughs> that is awesome. Oh, I cannot wait to get up and look at him. Oh, yeah, look at those cutters, dude. Oh, yeah. He ain't going anywhere. No. He's good. He's actually a pretty good sized pig. Yeah, think. he is. Those are some nice tusks, too. Dude. What a trip. It <laughs> <laughs> is freaking awesome. That's a big pig. Gave us a shot. So there's the eye of the round, there's the bottom round. There's the bottom round. This is a football right here. Got our tribe tip right there, the butt right here. The eye of the round here. The inside or top round here with that football there. So we break this down so we can identify the muscles. Okay. Once we're gonna break it down for educational purposes to see the muscles. Once you can see and identify the muscles, then we can talk about freezing them and cooking them and things like that. Okay, good job. Good Got job. Done. Appreciate yeah. it. Great. Thank you. All right, we, well, we just finished breaking down a quarter, learn how to break it all apart, get it all set to go. That's in the cooler. We're gonna head out right now, try to get another one. some good deep breaths. There you go. Alright, All right, stay on her. That was a great shot. I don't give a shit if it was a bad shot. She's laying in the dirt. Yeah. We're sitting right here. I just get dude. I can be calm as can be on target on these deer. Number two. Two. We got her done. <sighs> it's the evening sense. It's the evening sense. That's our good luck. That's our good luck. <laughs> what an experience, man. This is just too much fun. It's just unbelievable. <laughs> oh, yeah. She's great, son. Is it? Good stuff. Perfect shot. Dude, right at the base of the ear, huh? Yeah. Boom. Dude, hey. What do you say if we go get some pictures for you? Hell yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Hey, we're in Texas at Guitar Ranches at T Diamond Ranch, and Mike got a pig down, and we're gonna put some meat on a stick out here on the grill. 
So we have two different sauces to go with this meat on a stick. We have pork, like a pork saute that we marinated in ginger and lime and cilantro, cilantro. Yeah, boy. <laughs> and uh, and then we put some turkey jerky on a stick as well. We figured on a figure we might as well put some melt on the grill just to use up some of the tougher cuts. So what we have here, Mike, is a, a peanut dipping sauce, and usually it's made with chunky peanut butter, but uh, this this will work. It's got ginger and garlic and a little bit of green onion in there, a little bit of hot chili pepper or and or cayenne pepper, of course, peanut butter, and the moisture is coconut milk, but you could use sweeter on you know unsweetened coconut milk. Uh, the coconut milk usually separates, so there's like a fat on the white, you know, where the meat is. So we bring that up to a boil, and then that's pretty much ready to go. So why don't you give it a taste? Of course, you can't double dip, so when you uh, go the second time, just use the other, the, the other end. And see if you can, you know, pick up that. Like when you don't, you don't taste the cayenne or the hot pepper in the beginning. No, you, that's fantastic, though. But it, keeps coming. It does, you know, yeah. The yeah. flavor No, but it's coming. a great flavor. So that's going to be, you know, this is something that you can cook in camp or around the fire when you're in hunting camp, and it's simple. It's really simple to make. You can make that up ahead of time and uh, just put some meat out over on the fire and, you Have know, cut it, cut it right off it, yeah. that hind leg there. And, and that's just something we just whipped up to go with the turkey jerky. And it's some apricot jam and some strawberry preserves and a little bit of soy and some uh, Thai sweet chili sauce that we have in the fridge. So the grill is hot, so and we got the meat out there, so let's go on out. Sounds good. Okay, so we got our grill hot. It's still getting hot. We pretty much only have these three burners on, and we have them on pretty, uh, pretty much full blast. I think might even turn this one on. With that wind, we might lose some heat. So... Uh, it, it, it's definitely nice and hot. Yeah, I'm gonna turn this one on just to give us some extra heat. Uh, usually with meat this thin, I usually just leave it open. Okay. You know, if I was doing a larger piece, we'd do that, uh, we'd do that closed. But, so we, we marinated, we soaked the skewers, of course, in water all night, and this is the turkey jerky. So it's basically the same thing. And when we lay it on there, you just wanna try to get it so that it lays flat. So I'm gonna let you do that one, Mike, and then Ben, if you want, yep. you can do these on this side. The grill is hot and it's been seasoned, so the meat should not should not stick. If the grill was cold, the meat would definitely uh, stick to that. Let's just take a look. Look at that, it didn't stick at all. Thank God. Beautiful. That's all we need to do is to have it stuck when we got a camera yeah, on it. Yeah, you said it. So we got a nice char on there. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for it to cook fast. All right, I'll let you guys turn them. This one and this one look pretty thin. Now, those are our tasters. Okay. All right, so let, I think it's time for us to taste over here, don't you? I believe so. It looks good. Of course, you always want to test it straight up. Yeah, that's delicious. Wow. Now, that's the same thing as jerky. We're going to use that for jerky. So when you're making that dish, you want to kind of taste it straight up and then say, okay, what would this taste like with uh, some sweet chili sauce on there? That actually smooths the flavor of the meat out. Yeah, don't worry about getting it on the platter. We're going to put all that meat on there. So. And then you'll feel that chili creep up. This tastes good, don't it? That is. That tastes good, too. So, looks like we got a couple tasters here now. So, let's take these. And so, those are the, the pick. That old boar that, that, was, that had those big, what? Big tusks. Big tusks that looked like he was going to be chewy as 
All get out. How's he taste? Find out. It tastes fantastic. That is delicious. And that last right. the one with the ginger. Oh. That is so good. Yeah. Okay, so let's take a look at what we got going on the smoker. Ooh. Looking wow. good, looking good. So that sausage came out nice. It's separated, so we got nice color on it, nice skin on it. Uh, so we got, this one is the ham wrapped in bacon, and this one is the turkey breast wrapped in bacon. And we're basically giving it a touch. It's on there for about two hours now and just smoke. And this, of course, obviously is raw yet. So what we're gonna do is, that's smoked, that's what we're done. So basically what you can do is just grab those bones and pick them up and throw it right here. There you go, nice. Now what we're gonna do with these later, we're just gonna season that up and sear that in a hot pan. So now what we'll do is you can take the, um, the turkey, kind of put it, put it right here. So it's still raw. What we're going to do now with that is when we're going to bring it back in the kitchen, we're going to wrap it. So we'll do the same thing with the ham. All right. Now the ham was the one that was pickled, you know, or brined. And this is called uh, barding by putting the fat on there. Of course, we could have made that bacon, but we just didn't have enough time. That's true. So now we'll take that sausage. Because that sausage, is a sausage, we're going to have a slice of that to go with the chop for dinner. We're going to have a lot to eat. Yeah, this is going to be a yeah. Yes. All right, the sausage is off. Oh, we're getting the salsa ready. It's a peach and tomato salsa, and it's going to be going on the main course, which is the smoked brine rack of the board, which is actually over there. It's the crisscross rack that we have sitting over there. So right now I'm just draining these peaches. We don't want that. We're going to rinse them. We don't want that heavy syrup. We just want the peach. I'll have to cut up this pepper and get to work on these tomatoes as well. But otherwise, we uh, got a good start. All right, so we did what we can so far with the salsa. We'll pick that up here in a few minutes, but first we gotta get started on that rack of board. So we're gonna get this pan real hot and we're gonna get it all seared up. So that's what we're waiting on. We'll be doing that here in just a second. All right, so we have a smoke and brined rack of boar with a chorizo salsa and a peach and tomato salsa on the side with mashed potatoes and asparagus. So that is pretty much going to be a wrap. We just had an awesome dinner. Uh, our guests are gone. Everybody's kind of retiring to the rooms even though it's early. And then uh, Ben, myself, and Chef are going to bring you a new episode from The Woodside. I think that part's going to be premium. And then we're going to sit around with Mike Peterson, who won this experience uh, from Woodside Premium. And uh, we're just going to chat it up a bit and talk about his experience and see what he thought. So anyway, I had a ton of fun doing this one. Uh, it's always good to see my buddy Ben O'Brien. But uh, we'll see you guys on the next video.